hello hello friends in this video we are going to see all about borders in excel you can see here i have data on my sheet my excel sheet but the data that i have here have not borders once i try to print this out once i go to print and see the print preview see how it's looking like can see that my my just my data have no borders you can see everything here is not bothered but it looks nice once there is uh there, is, there, there are borders let me try to go back let me go back uh, there to home tab and try to make them bothered as usual, once we just want to board our data, we just go to font at font group. You can see at font group, and here you can see there we way to to select to put borders. Here you see uh, to the right there is a down arrow that we can just uh, sell, uh, can just uh, click on on and. Uh, and choose the kind of borders that we just want to, to put in our, on our data. And once I try to click here, you can see uh, there is a different way to to put our data. There is a, you can see there is bottom border. Once I click on bottom border, it means I just want to put to bold at the bottom. You can just put a, a line to the top, or this is a top border. I can put it to the rift. And once I try to to go here down, you can see there is a way you can click to draw borders. You can draw border, you can draw border grid. Here there is a draw uh, draw border grid, and the last border, whatever you have uh, put on on your data border, you can just last them and remove them. Here there is a line, a line color, line style, and here more borders at at bottom. We'll see how everything here work and once i just uh once i just uh, click here you can see i can select my data and here you can just uh put borders on your data after selecting them or you can just board them without selection we'll see how to deal with it and once i just put here bottom border once i put a bottom border and let me just go back there you can see here once i try to zoom in this to zoom to zoom in this you can see here i have uh, a bottom line and this is a bottom border and here other cells are not bordered there is nothing at the top nothing in the in the cells as border but i can also go there and put uh, uh put another kind of border i can now here put uh I can now board the top. I can just go there and click here and now choose top top border. I can just click here and see. Now I have top border. Now you, once I go back to the plant preview and see how it's looking like. Right, uh, now you can see now there is a kind of border and they look nice compared to how to they how do they looked before. You can see now have a top and bottom border. Now there is a there is a change. You can see now that they look nice uh, than it was before. And here, once I just uh, select my data again and go to to no border, all borders here have been removed are now removed. Once I select them again and go to here, I can just uh, choose left right and i can choose uh, all borders but once i go to no borders everything that i put in my on my data as border is removed once i go to all borders you can see now everything every data here is bordered and you can see now how they look like once and i go to plenty preview let me just go back to print preview and see how nice it's looking once i go to file and and here go to print and how the print preview is looking this way now you can locate everything because else now is bothered
Now let me just go back again and and just to go to data, I select my data again and I go to to font group. I choose now outside border, thick outside border. If you choose these ones, you just want to to bold at the outside border with a thick with thick border. And here once I select this, you can now see here the body the outside border now it's looking somehow for black. This is a deep black compared to this one and you can even see it once i try to zoom in you can see the outside border is looking different from the inside borders and let me select my data again select my data again and i go to font group and here I can just choose top and the double bottom border you can see once i click here can see now how it looked like here now it's double it is now it's doubled you can see other borders here the inside border i'll just have it's a single line but here the border bottom will have double a double border it's a double line i can just select my dot again and go to uh, no borders to remove everything as border once I go to my border, I see I have nothing as border here. And there is also a, a way, another way to put borders by drawing. You can draw borders. Once I click here, you can see here down there is a way you can draw. You can now draw borders. You can see I can draw borders and I can draw border grid. Let's see how draw border is different from draw border grid. And let me just apply it. I guess I just go here down to draw border. Once I just select here, you see there is a pen, there is a something like a pen that I can use to draw. You can see now have a, have a pen. And now just uh, sit here, have a pen. And this pen it can just draw can draw borders wherever I want. Once I try to to put to just to put it here, you can see I put a line. I can here even just uh, put it here. I can draw a board. I can just draw lines where I want. You can see I can here put uh, another border. I can here draw another one. You can see I can just put another one here. You can I can bold. I can bold here wherever I want. Even here, I can even bold here. I can here put borders. You can see, I can here put borders here down. I can here put borders. You can see, you can even put borders by drawing. You can drawing, you can just draw border. You can see, I can even put here the top one, the top border. Now we have everything here is bordered. All cells, all data here have borders. Can just about it like this or i can even remove those ones in the center once i just want to remove the border i can just go there and go to the last border once you can see now half a laser i can just um uh, i can just remove everything i want to remove you can see maybe you just want to remove these uh borders you can remove them like this and make and make uh, only lines you can see you can see how I just am, I'm removing. You can even remove all of them. You can see once I do this, all here removed. I can just use uh, my mouse, my left, uh, my left mouse to uh, left. I can hold the left click and and just uh, remove whatever I want to remove. Now see everything here is removed. You can draw and allows. And once I go back there. You can see I didn't, you see here I didn't select my data. I can now go to draw border grid. Border grid, draw border grid is different from draw border. Once you draw border, you, you are just drawing everything that is there, you draw it. But border grid, you can see wherever I click, I make a table. I can just make a, I make border. Once I do like this, you can see I can make border or I can board wherever I want. You can see once I do like this, there is a table. Once I scroll down and do, I 
but as you can see wherever i click wherever i click or oh, it's spot up once i just want to remove this i can just uh select my data and go to no about you can see once i select my my, my just my my data and you go to no border you can see here all borders all borders have removed now my data not bordered and here down you can see there is a there is line color a line color there is a within line color i can choose the color of the border that i just want to have maybe let me just select red once i select red and use uh, this one you can see now my data here are bordered but with the with the red lines you can see everything is led and i can just go back there and go to line style you can see i can choose a dashed line i can just put a choose a, a type of line you can see i can just even just go down and choose the thicker one once i just go there i can choose a, let me choose this dashed one once i come here back you can see all lines here i'll dash it and let me go to file and go to print to see the print preview you can see how it, is, it will look like it will look like here all the dashed lines and i can also remove this dashed line by just going to there uh, and select here and select and choose no and choose no border once i select here my data and go there and choose no border everything here is removed once i select again my data can select again my data all i can just go there without selecting and go to line style and change it to the thickest one and once i try to bold now you can see now they are more clear they are now clear because i uh, choose i've chosen the the thick the thickest one that's looking very nice and the color here is lead and once i go back to plant and see the plant preview you can see how now it is going looking right it's now thick you can change the color to dark blue to dark green you can choose a different color depending on your favorite color and you can see now i can just go back there and go to more borders you can go to more borders and see what's there once i go to more borders you can see you can choose you can choose none you can choose uh, once you choose none it means you remove the border you have here you can just uh, go to outline and see how, how it's looking like and once i just uh, let me for example choose this one let me choose this one and put it on the here this is the outline and here this is uh you can just uh once i click ok you can see let me select my data i didn't select my data and go to more borders uh, did i select all of them maybe not let me select all or data i can just go back there and go to more borders and now here this is the color i can change the color to to brew and now this is dark at 25 percent i can just uh, choose this one and just go to side you can see how it's looking like he wants to choose the outline and i click ok you can now see the kind of border that i have now you see the the color now is different i can just go back there and let me select my data i can go back there and go to more borders and here you can just put choose uh, this double one and here you see that you can see the preview of what i have chosen here once i just uh, check this inside you can see everything here will be there will be all borders here will be double line you can just go there and see now here there's a double line you can just go back there and change the color and just change where you want uh, your border to be you can just back there and go to more borders maybe you just want to bold only the only the border here at, uh, at the top at the you can see in the center left and right you can bold whatever you want you can just choose uh, once i select none once i select here you can see and remember here i have chosen i've chosen the 
up right i can just here i've checked take the thickest one and here go here you can see the preview down here see uh there's text you can see and here I can select another style another style and now you see here the text will be installed but there is a uh, only lines separating the columns yeah with it is uh knowledge you can just do whatever with the uh, with the borders you can change the borders the way you want you can here go to inside you can go to outline and you see how to look right like, looking like you can change the color to to right to blue once i go there back you can see how to look like i can immediately go back there and change the color again to change the color again to lead i can just uh, change it to to lead and here choose the, the this solid line and here let me choose the solid line and go to here to inside and outside you can just click ok and see what I have now guys this is what you can do with uh, borders and you can here also put the title once you just see the title it is uh it is merged and, and center i can just click here and once i go back here i can choose the thick outside border once i just do it like this you can see out i have a uh, thick outside border i can just go to file and print and print preview again you can see now how my just uh, my type my title is bothered and friends this is how you can deal with uh, the borders in microsoft excel and I hope this video is going to help you and uh, keep subscribing on my youtube uh, my youtube channel and share to many different people you can even leave suggestion in the comment section and work on your suggestions guys see you next time